Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, my friends, or good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you live. How are you? Hopefully, you woke up on the right side of the bed today. Tuesdays, I know, they're a little random, and we all have to kind of saddle up and get through them together. But um, are you still full from Thanksgiving? I don't know. After Thanksgiving, I feel full for like weeks. Um, but hopefully you're, uh, you know, back at work, well into uh, your work day. How many, here's a question, how many of you grew up thinking something was true just because your parents said so, only to later find out it was all a lie? Well, I ask because today on Top 30, we talk about the weirdest lies parents have told their children. It's such a funny topic because we can all relate. We all can think back to what our parents told us. I have a really boring one. My parents used to always tell me, like everybody else, not to sit close to the TV because you'll go blind. You know that one? Yeah. Well, what are some of the crazy lies your parents told you? Let me know uh, here in the comment section. <clears throat> Bakari HD, excited for Taco Tuesday. Uh, yep, we have tacos on Tuesday as well. Gotta love it. Well, Vice did a write-up on some of these lies, and uh, I think they're super funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I wanted to share them with you. Well, a couple of them. One reader said her parents told her that the little people on TV actually lived in the TV and that these little people, it gets worse, they have their own world inside the TV. But this meant that their daughter was so scared every time that the TV went off because she was scared, you know, for the lives of the little people inside. Like, what happened to them? Another weird lie a father told his daughter was that he gave birth to her. I, that could really mess with the kid's head. The reader says she remembered her dad used to have a big belly. So, of course, she believed it. Uh, watch Top 30 today, you guys, to hear more of the weirdest lies parents tell their kids. Maybe you have a couple you can contribute to the list. Uh, please let me know here in the comments section. And as we go along, I'll read them. <clears throat> also on today's show, we're talking about uh, a pretty controversial new technology coming to schools in Nebraska. Let me know if you've heard about this. According to WOWT in Omaha, Nebraska, <clears throat> sorry, I still have this thing in my throat. What is it now? Three weeks? Unreal. Uh, so anyway, back to Nebraska. Nearby schools are implementing an electronic lunch program. And I don't know, it's kind of cool, you know, kind of controversial. Kids can scan their fingerprints to pay for their meal. This new system, it's supposed to make it easier for kids to get their lunch and not miss out on any meals because, you know, you always have your finger with you. But as you can imagine, some parents do not want their children's personal information and identity released anywhere at such a young age. What do you think? Good idea? Bad idea? Um, I think from the outside looking in, you're like, oh, okay, I understand the, the logic behind this program. But then when you think about if it were your kid, I'd be like, uh, no, you're not taking my kid's fingerprint. Are you insane? No way. All right. Uh, what do you think? Would you let your children's uh, fingerprints be used in this system? Plus, where's this data being stored? You know, totally a, a cynic. Uh, all right. Let's move on to some exciting news for salad fans. <laughs> are Be Bella, are there? What? Becca, Bella, why do I, you know, mess with your name like that? But are there fans of salad? Do people really love salad? Huh? I love you love salad. Okay. So people, people, behind, people here at Top 30 love salad. You know, when I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. Salad to me is just, I mean, I can have a good salad, but to be a fan of something, you need to really love it. Well, FDA officials have said it is now okay to eat romaine lettuce again, as long as it's not from the coastal central growing regions of Northern and Central California. So you got to check where your lettuce is from. Romaine lettuce from these regions are still considered the source of this E. coli outbreak. <clears throat> I kid you not, I got this frantic voicemail from my dad yesterday right after work. And I listened to it and he's like, Kristen, get rid of all your lettuce <laughs> because it's, it's tainted. Get rid of it all. My dad, I gotta, you gotta love him. He's always looking out for me. I'm like, daddy, I know. Remember I work in the news, daddy. I knew about this before you, but, um, this E. coli outbreak, it was reported one week ago, uh, after quite a few people, 32 people in 11 States across the U S got sick after eating the contaminated romaine lettuce. So, um, stay home, make sure you just check where your lettuce is from before you eat it. You know, Yuma, Arizona, where I started my career, uh, well, actually was an intern in California, but my first on-air job was in Yuma, Arizona, and uh, it's the lettuce capital of the world. So you can still get your lettuce from Arizona, which a lot of the lettuce does come from. So just check it and most of you will be safe. 
Now, um, do we have anybody watching from Texas? Any Texas uh, peeps here? Pam Ross says no, no, and no. Uh, I assume you're talking about the fingerprint lunch program because, uh, yeah, Pam, your you're mom, right? Uh, Maria Irene Delatore, if you control your weight and health, you must like salads. Maria, I feel very convicted by that. I know you need to learn to love salad, right? Um, I will say I get down with some arugula. I love arugula. It's so good with some like balsamic vinaigrette on it. So maybe I am a salad fan. I'm an arugula fan. Uh, All right. So back to Texas. Some Texans got pretty lucky over the weekend after an ATM in Houston accidentally gave out $100 bills instead of tens. What? Of course, this news went viral on social media and this ATM had to be guarded by sheriff's deputies until Bank of America, not to call you out, B of A, you know, could fix the mistake. A statement from Bank of America, though, said the malfunctioning ATM was due to vendor error. The vendor responsible accidentally stocked 100s in place of 10s. Accidentally. Uh, sounds like a grumpy employee to me. But the best thing about all of this is Bank of America said customers are able to keep uh, all the additional dispensed money. Talk about getting lucky. That is so crazy. It reminds me um, of in high school, the vending machine. It um, Something went wrong with it where just everything was for free. And you just put in an item. You didn't have to put money in it. And word traveled so fast around my school. Like literally everyone went crazy. Easy. Uh, I didn't though because I was a goody two shoes. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, Wayne Hedge, uh, sorry, Wayne Hodge says, No way, it's a bad idea. The fingerprint lunch program. Cyrus Coop says, Good morning, my friend. How have you been? Cyrus, so good to see you. Hope all is well with you and your family. It is. Thank you so much. And Cyrus, back at you. It's good to see you. Muhammad Ali says, Hello. Uh, Yulia Joy says, Salads. Uh, salad is life. Wow passionate. Tanisha says, you should drink natural lemon tea with ginger in the morning first thing and before going to bed. It will take your cough away. The stronger the tea, it's better. Hello from Costa Rica. Very nice. Thanks, Tanisha. I will definitely take your advice. So uh, so natural lemon tea with ginger. That's it. Natural lemon tea. Okay, got it. Tanisha says, I enjoy eating salad too. So you guys... <clears throat> There are salad fans out there. Here's the quote of the day. You don't have to be great at something to start, but you have to start to be great at something. Yes. Zig Ziglar, Bella, thank you for that quote. Uh, and I hope you you like this quote and can take it to the bank as you uh, go about your day. Liberty Valdez, hello from Utah. And that's it for me, you guys. So have a wonderful day. Um, and I'll see you later today on an all new episode of Top 30. Bye for now.